Usopp has never lied in one piece. In fact, he may be the worst liar in the entire series because everything he says ends up coming true. This led to the prophet's nickname Nostradamus. If you don't know, there is a trend in One Piece where all of Usopp's lies eventually come true. By chapter 40, Usopp has truly ruined a large part of the series and has most likely ruined the ending of One Piece with very few lies yet to come true. Let's start with the original lie, the pirates are coming, Usopp's personality is very similar to that of the shepherd boy, only in reverse, as almost no one believes what Usopp says when he says it. However, that rarely prevents his statements from being true, such as when Captain Kuro finally attacked their village, carrying out Yusuf's warning that pirates would attack. This should have been the moment when people started paying attention to Yusuf's words. Yusuf lied to Kaya about many things, all of which came true. For example, Yusuf stated, I fought a giant goldfish that lived in the South Sea, and you should have seen the size of its poop. It was so big that I thought it was an island and anchored my ship. Go there, this same goldfish will appear at the end of Little Garden, named Island Eater, so it literally ate and excreted islands, almost certainly large enough to anchor ships too. Usopp goes on to say that he chopped up the giant goldfish, which was actually done by Dory and Bragi, and then he took it to a land of little people, where Usopp eventually went. Visit in the form of the Tontada tribe Andres Roser. At some point, Usopp announced that he was searching Kaya's estate to capture a giant mole creature. A creature that Usopp would go on to find, albeit in Alabaster, not exactly the village syrup, but he found it in the form of Miss Merry Christmas, although at some point we can more accurately say that the mole captured Usopp. Nostradamus also made many prophecies to his crew, including the existence of Cerberus. Then jumped to Thriller Bark, and Usopp's group are the first to encounter Cerberus in real life. When I say real life, I mean the real fictional pirate Cerberus. But then, the rest of the Straw Hats actually captured Cerberus, which fulfilled Yusuf's prophecy because he and the Usopp pirates were trying to capture Cerberus in Syrup Village. Meanwhile, another legendary creature that Usopp summons into existence is a dragon described here as a strange lizard, but described in Chapter 655 as a truly giant dragon. Once again, it was Yusuf's group who first encountered the dragon, which by the way is called Dragon Number 13. This is not a particularly creative name, but it and at least 12 plus the other was created by Vegapunk, or I guess at least one of the Vegapunks. Once again, Luffy wanted to eat it, except this time, they didn't. Zoro slashed it, and then they cooked the dragon, thus starting a very strange side trend of not only Yusuf's lie becoming the truth, but Luffy then wanting to eat Yusuf's truth. Next, we have a controversial lie. Instead of hideous fruit vendor monster, Usopp more accurately said run, it's an alien from the vegetable vendor planet, which is important because this later came true. Aliens are very blatantly revealed in Enel's disguise story, where we encounter the space pirates, a group whose design is extremely eccentric even by the standards of the One Piece world. It is also heavily implied that the Sky People are all aliens who invaded the One Piece planet after fleeing their ancestral home on the moon. In that case, not only did the aliens exist thanks to Usopp, but he also met them himself. Near the end of Syrup Village, Usopp declared that he would set sail alone, a thought that became a reality in Water 7 when Usopp left the crew. He also inherited the Going Merry, making Usopp the default captain. So in a way, the captain's lie also became truth for a short time. At this point, it's almost like Usopp has the ability to bend reality with sheer conviction and will, perhaps a fourth type of hockey, a great example of this occurs in Chapter 42, where Usopp makes the empty claim that he is a professional sniper after very luckily hitting a rock with a cannonball. But then, you look at him now, and he's easily one of the greatest snipers in the world. Before the time skip, Yusuf's abilities had grown so much that he shot Spandam from over a mile away to save Robin. After the time skip, Usopp unlocked Observation Hockey, which only made him stronger. Not to mention the fact that he has summoned the entire character Soaking which literally means Sniper King, a character that the world now believes actually exists due to widespread bounties. Next, we have another controversial thing. Everyone knows about Yusuf's claim that he has 8,000 followers. He has stated this many times, the most memorable time, for me, being in Arlong Park, where he said, they call me Usopp the Demon King, and kings tremble at that name. Run away now and live. I have 8,000 people following me. This is likely to come true on Dress Roser. The number of toys Sugar created has never been fully quantified, but it is said to be in the thousands. So, Usopp most likely pulled this off, and he certainly made a king tremble, as the king of Dress Rosa at the time, Doflamingo, even gave Usopp his only 5-star bounty on the island. 
When USOP tried to spread the rumor that Luffy's 30 million berry bounty was actually for him because USOP was captured in the bottom left corner of the photo. A joke later copied by Beepo in Trafalgar Law's bounty. However, I chose my words poorly because this is not a joke. After Annie's lobby, a bounty of exactly 30 million berries was offered to So King, who according to rumors was actually USOP in disguise. So not only did USOP predict his bounty, but he also predicted that it would be hidden by someone else. USOP is often unaware of the consequences of his own words. Despite this, however, he is extremely intelligent. One could even say the smartest straw hat, like the time he simultaneously woke up Luffy, Zoro, and Sanji by lying about having a female, beautiful swordsman with flesh. But now, USOP has done more than just wake up everyone in the crew because in chapter 720, Rebecca, a beautiful swordswoman, invited Luffy to eat meat making this once again a case of Luffy wanting or actually ate one of Yusuf's lies. But the last thing I want to mention is probably Yusuf's most important lie to Nami. After being kicked in the head by a cow, USOP claims that he has 74,000 followers. 74,000 is very specific. Not 7,000 or 70,000, as we've seen, but this is something that could have something to do with the final war since we've seen the Great Fleet grow stronger. We've seen the Straw Hats alliances continue to expand. The Grand Fleet had 5,640 people, and since then, the Straw Hats have formed even more alliances. I have a distinct feeling that use of 74,000 followers will come true when it comes time to fight Aimu, if not more than that since after all, he is Lord USOP, a god of possession the ability to change the entire structure of the world with just words. And there you have it, USOP is God, so when God speaks, listen.